Hello everyone. Today I will be cooking. It is um, another chicken recipe. I have bought so much chicken, and um, let me let me find the name of this this recipe. Um, I have bought a lot of chicken because chicken has a lot of protein, and the doctor told me that I need to be eating a lot of protein. Um, so this is a ricotta stuffed chicken bake. It's ricotta stuffed chicken bake. So that is what we will be cooking tonight. And um, I'm going to have you guys here with me. I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to use. And um, I can even give you the link where you can find the recipe. If it turns out good. So let's get started. All right, guys. So we are having potatoes again. They are actually in the oven. God, I need to clean my oven. Um, here is the recipe. I got it off of off of line. It's, it's calling for one large egg, a cup of fat-free ricotta cheese, um, three-fourths cup of shredded mozzarella, um, fresh basil, parsley. You don't have to have all this stuff if you don't like it. Boneless chicken, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, a cup of pasta sauce. Um, and then it's telling us what to do here to mix it and everything. The temperature is 375. Um, I'm going to set you guys up and we are going to get started on making this chicken bake. Okay, so I have um, 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, which 16 ounces is a cup, so we're gonna use 15. We got the egg, we got the spaghetti sauce, we have the mozzarella cheese, which I'm gonna use more mozzarella cheese. But that's what it's calling for to mix. It says, um, in a mixing bowl, combine the egg, ricotta cheese, a fourth a cup of mozzarella, basil, parsley, and stir well, stir until well mixed. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to get us a bowl. Oh, I'm going to drop everything out of the cabinet. Stay, stay, stay. Shit fire. Okay. So we have this big gigantic bowl here, but that's fine. All right. So we're going to, we're going to show you guys this way. Hopefully you can see it good enough. All right, so here we go. We're gonna crack the egg and get it in there. Yep, yep. I wanna get myself a little cart, like a little table on wheels that I can set you guys up and um, be able to um, have you guys in front of me on a tripod, which will make it a lot easier. Okay, so in the bowl, the ricotta cheese, um, it says, let's see, combine one-fourth of, oh no, wait a minute. In a mixing bowl, combine the eggs, ricotta cheese, one-fourth, okay. So the ricotta cheese, we're going to use it all. Every bit of it. So, there's the ricotta cheese. <laughs> it went out pretty good. Okay. Um... Seasons, let's see, it's saying the one-fourth a cup of mozzarella, which all this is going to be mixed up. Um, I usually don't use measuring cups, guys. To me, it's just more more work because it's more to wash. Okay, so it wants me to mix it all up, so let me find something to mix it with. Okay, so we have this big fork right here. Let me, because I'll have to chop this. Hopefully you guys can see all this. And this is kind of, I'm going to put some seasonings in here, but I'm going to mix it a little bit first. Can you guys see that? I didn't print this one off. I thought I might as well try these recipes before I print them all off. Because it's just wasting ink if I don't like them. That last one we made was really good, guys. It was really good. Um, and I'm having the potatoes again. Okay. Can you see that? It's all mixed. And that's for the potatoes. So the potatoes have been in there for a while. So they're, they're pretty, pretty close to done. All right. So the potatoes are really close to being done. 
All right, so then it says, place chicken breast on a cutting board, sprinkle both sides with both sides of the breast with salt and black pepper and the Italian seasoning using a sharp knife. Guess what I got, guys? You guys are going to be proud of me. I, I found one of those um, one of those hammer and things to make the chicken breast the same size. I'll do it on this table and I'll probably, I don't know, I might mess something up, but let me get the chicken breast out. All right, guys. So, this is the chicken breast. I'm making three of them. Gotta find some scissors. All right, scissors, where are you? There they are. And I got one of those things, guys, that you smash the chicken to make it all the same size. I did have one. I went through my gadget drawer and I found one. I think I used to um, season my steaks with it. Um, let's see. So we have three chicken breasts. And these are big chicken breasts, guys. These are real big ones. Let me get rid of this. And let me, oh. Let me just wash my hands off. Wash them off and touch it again. Okay, so I washed my hands just to touch them. We're just gonna like, I think I'm gonna just. So I think this thing was working better. What do you guys think? I guess I could slice it and it looks like it's pretty, pretty well even now. I might have to cut out all that banging guys because it's probably jarring the camera. So I'm probably gonna have to cut out all that banging. God, you scared me. What on the camera? What's that? Right there on the table. What do I see? Oh, it's recording right now? Yeah. Watch this magic trick, guys. You ready? Oh. <laughs> You're crazy. I'll cook the chicken for you. You will? Oh, Tyler, don't do oh, that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of there. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Tyler wants to cook the chicken. All right, so he's excited about his magic trick. I'm gonna wash the chicken off, guys. I'm gonna use soap and water and wash it off. No, I'm just joking, I ain't using soap. All right, so there is the chicken. And then we're just gonna, I guess we're gonna stuff it and fold it this way. Well, let me cut this um, fat stuff off of here. Get the fat, ew. I don't like fat on my chicken. All right, so let's see here. Place the chicken breast on cutting board. Sprinkle both sides of the breast with salt and pepper um, and Italian seasoning. Use a sharp knife. Slice the bre breast from the side, creating a top and bottom almost all the way through. Open. Oh, okay. I got it. Now I'm just going to open up the breast. Let's see what this is. Hopefully I'll be able to do that, guys. This is a big breast. I was thinking I was just gonna fold it over, but it wants me to take a slice. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna have to cook them the way I was thinking of cooking them. Yeah, they're gonna be too tough to, too hard to cut open that way. I could have did it when they were frozen.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to, oh, well, maybe. Maybe, probably not. Guess I'm gonna have to do it like that, guys. Not as easy as it looks. I wasn't thinking I was cutting them in half. Ah, okay, well, that's gonna have to be good enough. All right, guys. So then it says, I gotta do the salt and pepper seasons. All right, so. Uh, most of you guys know I love Cavenders. You can get this at Walmart. It's like under five bucks. It's all purpose Greek seasoning. It's awesome. If you just use this seasoning only, it would be enough seasoning. It's awesome seasoning. All right, but I got Italian seasoning that I'm gonna use also. And I have some total seasoning. So it's a, it's a few different kinds of seasoning. Let me flip this over and get that seasoning on both sides. This is like an Italian seasoning. This is delicious here. And this just makes it good too. Okay, so we're gonna flip it back over because the opening is here. Where we're gonna open them up. And um, then we're gonna fill them, let's see. All right, sprinkle both sides, um, use a sharp knife, cut them all right, almost all the way through. Each breast is slit. Divide the ricotta mixture evenly amongst four. Well, I don't have four, so we have three. So, here's the ricotta mix right here, guys. Say hello. She's not saying hello. Okay. So I'm gonna just divide this up and I don't wanna put it right in front of the camera, which is what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it over here so you guys can see. And then I'm just going to um, fill them up. Fill up the, the chicken breast with the ricotta. And then I'm just gonna like, I guess this is it. I'm just gonna fold it up. Probably gonna cut it more. It looks good. I'm just gonna dump this sauce down in there. So I, I wasn't sure how to cut them in half, guys. I flattened them. Maybe I shouldn't have flattened them and then I could have cut them in half. But that's okay. We're gonna try this. All right, guys. So it looks a little messy. I, um, yeah, it looks messy. But hopefully it turns out can you guys still see it? Yes, okay. So then it says, I'm gonna sprinkle some more seasonings on this. It's gonna be good. All right, so then it says, let's see, after I kind of mix them, I probably just, I don't know, I, fit, I don't know, we'll figure it out. It'll be good. Leaving the other half empty to fold over, let's see. Um, each breath is slit, divide the ricotta cheese mixture spread across the surface on one side leaving the okay well maybe i just put too much ricotta cheese in there but it still looks delicious um let's see when all breasts are topped on one side fold the empty half over the filling to make the breasts okay we did that i don't want this thing move i didn't want to touch that with my with my hands Transfer each stuffed breast, single layer, prepared baking dish. Spoon the pasta sauce over the chicken and around the dish. Bake in the oven for 25 minutes. Remove from the oven and sprinkle chicken with the remaining one-fourth cup of mozzarella. Okay, so um, this right here, it's got a pouring spout. So we're just going to like 
pour some over top. Hopefully it's good. It looks gross, but I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I don't know why it called for so much. Was I supposed to use it? Uh, because I was calling for four breasts and I didn't realize that. Okay, well that's okay. Twenty-five minutes. Maybe these breasts are too big. What do you guys think? You think twenty-five minutes is gonna be long enough to cook it? It's on three seventy-five. I think it should be fine. Let me um. It was just showing a little bit of this on top there. Wasn't showing a lot. All right. So some more mozzarella cheese. And then it says to sprinkle some more after it comes out of the oven. So, there we go. All right, guys, what do you think? It's probably going to be delicious, but um, it didn't turn out the way. I wasn't sure. I, I, did, I guess I didn't read all the way through the instructions to see that I had to cut, slice the breast in half. Um, so, anyways, let's just see how it turns out. Okay, guys, check it out. I got roasted potatoes. I got some green beans. They're actually, um, they're called something else. I'm trying to think of what they're called. Um, let me see here. What are they called? They're called French beans. I think it's the same thing. Anyways, we had them the other night. They were delicious. We had the potatoes and potatoes. The doctor said eat lots of potatoes. That They're full of potass potassium and protein um and she said eat lots of chicken because chicken is full of protein so i guess i guess i need lots of protein anyways it looks delicious i'm going to get some off on the plate and then i'm going to show you guys again i got to make sure it's completely done i did it said 25 minutes and then 10 more minutes after so i did 35 40 i did 40 minutes total on the chicken i didn't think it was going to dry out because it's in all this juice and Hopefully, hopefully it got completely done. I want to check that out here in just a second. But it looks delicious. Those are so good. All right. Okay, guys. So there it is. It looks delicious. We're going to sit down and we are going to test it. Haley and I are going to test it out for you guys. All right, guys. So we are going to, are you in the camera? I don't know. Are you going to look and see if your chair is in the camera? I don't know. She thinks, she's probably not even in it. All right, guys, so we are going to test it out. It looks delicious. How's yours? It's good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, guys. Mm -hmm. It's real good. I keep getting all this grisly shit. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not, um, it's definitely moist. Didn't dry out this time, mm -hmm. did it? Mmm. Yep. All right. So, what about the beans? You said I didn't season them enough. I mean, yeah, they're just kind of plain. Were they good last time? Oh yeah. Last time, I, all I did was cook them with the potatoes. But you put butter and seasoning in the potatoes. It doesn't really taste like you put anything in these. Mm. All right. So the beans have to be different next time. Are they still good? They're fine. They just taste like beans. They're like kind of dry. When you made them in the oven with the potatoes, they weren't dry. They were moisture? Mm hmm All right, so I tried them different this time. I have to go back to the old way. Yeah, they don't have much flavor. Mm -mm. These chicken breasts are gigantic. They're good. Don't you think they're really big? Mm-hmm. You also did stuff them. Yeah, I stuffed them with ricotta cheese. Oh, that made them moisture. Made them wider, too. 
Mm. I'll never be able to eat the whole thing. <laughs> I always do that, and I can't never eat it all. I always have to like save some of mine for later. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm leaving the camera? Yeah. Chuck on. Am I still on camera? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. It's delicious. It's all over me. Oh, butter. Yeah, it's really good. So this is a recipe that I will throw the link in my description below to this particular recipe. It's actually really, really good. Really good. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.